Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forrest Falcon. Welcome back to Summon Knight Starcraft Story 2 Blind. So, uh, for this next boss fight, I've decided to try both the Demon Gems and the Med Kits this time. Figure it's finally time we started putting these to use for healing. And we'll still try to use these for healing, but we'll kind of actually try and activate them ourselves. Because I'm going to assume that the Med Kits are going to trigger over the Demon Gem. But we'll find out anyway. Let's see how this goes. Monkey Extreme. Uh, it could be worse. It could be worse. Um, that is not a lot of damage. Okay, I really need to block that. I need to relearn his pattern. Can I even block that one? Oh boy. Well, let's just... Let's just try going. Yeah, so the med kits will be the ones that trigger. That's all the healing they do? Is that even is that even worth it? Like the only reason I wanted to even use those was because I was hoping that the healing would be a bit better. Let's see. I mean it means that I Let me see what I can actually block on this guy. Okay, I can block the overhand. Can I block his other one, is the question. Okay, I can block both of those. But I am doing a terrible job so far. So this is pretty much just a trial run right now. Okay. Like, I can time that pretty effectively. In fact... Is he just gonna keep doing this? It might be that he'll just keep doing this if I'm this close. Yeah, this might actually work out. This might actually work out just fine. Like, holy cow. Yeah, just keep doing this. Just keep doing this. Yeah, I can totally do this. Like, that's the thing, is that sometimes, uh, depending where you are, the enemies will do a certain attack over any other. Like, as you can see here, he just keeps doing this one because I'm so close to him. So I'm going to maximize what I can do with the axe right now. And then after that I'm going to go super and probably just keep doing this. Because it's working. Like, wow. Like, the other guy, the thing was is that I couldn't block really effectively the thing that was up close because it was a double hit. Since this is a single, I don't have a problem with it. Like, we've just been pushing him gradually further and further back this entire time. And we're not taking any damage. Oh, I... Like, wow, the timing is super generous on this, because... I swear, like, some of those I definitely feel like I should have missed. It only takes about one durability to block, so... Our axe is almost done. Let's see how we're doing. Yeah, we've, we've done over half his health. This is way better than whatever that previous one was. Like, I went into this, blew like half uh, three med kits. Like, you know, just right off the bat because I didn't understand blocking him. Yeah, he's just in the corner right now. So I'm just going to activate this pretty soon, and honestly, I think I'll probably be able to just finish him in one cycle. Yeah, let's just go. Trigger it, get our durability back, and yeah, he has no effective way to counter what I'm doing right now. So he is screwed. He's completely screwed. In fact... I don't even really need to block. I could probably just keep going. But it, it's a question of whether that's even worth it. Yeah, we're not even going to get through like half of this. Holy cow. Why was this one so much easier? Is it just because of the weapon that I upgraded? Is it just because my level's a little bit better? Not really, because my level was, you know, I improved it by a lot and I still struggle with that previous one. This was like nothing. Nothing in comparison. My gosh. 
Is that really the last of the extra bosses besides the rabbit? There's gotta be something else other than that. And we don't get any bonus experience though because we used our demon gym, but who cares? Stack the attack. A Bushido scroll and... Oh, we got another one of these. We get another Bushido scroll. And we get a flare bracelet. That was it. I think that was actually it. My gosh. Okay, so what do we got here? Um, well, I guess we just warp out. Like, wow. I totally could have done that in the last episode. I, I just didn't want to take the chance after the previous one, but my gosh. <laughs> that went so much better, because he actually had an attack pattern that... I, like, it was pretty rough to start with when I didn't know how to guard it, but once I found the exploit, man, did he go down hard. Also, do we get any new items uh, since we beat the last one? Let me see. Uh, doesn't... Oh, I guess I need to check the create option. Let's see... Anything new? No, Ninja Ring seems to be like the last thing that we've got here. So, does that really mean we're just down to the rabbit already? Also, let me just check my equipment. Uh, I need, I want to just check like how far we've... Okay, the tech is maxed out on that, which is good. We didn't really use those that much. Uh, so do I already want to just, you know, upgrade the axe again? Because, I mean, what else am I going to do at this point? So we got the Bushido scroll. Anything else? Is there anything else in the world that we could do at this point? Well, I guess one thing that would be helpful to check is the bestiary. That's it. That was the last area. There's no new areas with new enemies. We missed a lot in that... Uh, previous area. There were two that we didn't actually see. But yeah, the, the bestiary is pretty filled out. There's like a few guys that we've missed along the way. Usually like just one in like some of the later areas. So I guess all that's left is the rabbit. Okay, well I guess what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some weapons now to prepare for that. Okay, this one served us pretty well already. But if I want something effective against the rabbit, I want to bring my best, so... Yeah, we're gonna disassemble this, I think. Unless, is there, is there anything else that has a lot of tech that I would want to use? Because the thing is, is the tech is good for, like, uh... You know, it's just good for the upgrade unit when you make the new weapon, because it gives it bonus stats. That's one of the reasons why, uh, after that, uh, disaster get the against the ice boss, I wanted to, you know, upgrade uh, the weapon as much as I did. Okay, we're gonna try the last one we can get. So this gives us plus 118 attack, plus 73 defense, plus 114 durability. So this is the best that I think we can make. I don't think there's anything better than this that we can really make. I'm, I'm curious about, uh, if we check the weapon log, is there much else? Ethereal Axe. Let's see, 118, 138. Okay, so what does it actually say if I go to... Which one is it? Is it techniques? Yeah, Techniques. That's the last axe. That, it, like, these are the last two axes weird. Uh, this is actually better in the terms of attack than this one. The legendary Axe of Divinity. But it will give me more defense, which will be great to have. But still, I'd almost have rather have kept the Ribbon Caesar. I'd almost would have rather gone for more attack, considering that uh, that's usually what we need more than anything. But we'll make it work make it work. Also, what was the other stats on that? Uh, let's see. Agility is about the same, so... Let's see what we've got for upgrades. Okay, so... Ethereal Axe. You haven't upgraded it with anything. 
Is there anywhere that we can get more of the items that uh, the bosses, these final bosses, dropped? That's something I'm actually a bit curious. Like, is there anything in, like, the fishing pool or somewhere we can go and buy them? Because really, really would not mind having another one of those cat paw figurines. That really seemed to, you know, do a lot for us. Like, that's the thing. I come here and it's like, this is the best that we can get at the fishing pool now. It's weird. There's not really, like, anything much better. But you know that they have to have those somewhere, right? No. Like, there's the guy that gives us the rare metals. I could check with him, see if there's anything we can get. Because, I mean, since I used, like, everything to upgrade the axe last time, I'm a bit concerned that, you know, I might not necessarily be as prepared if I don't get some better upgrades. Thunder bracelet. Give this to me. Give them to me. Uh, let's see. Is there anything better in terms of bracelets? So the bracelet that we got from him, it was... That wasn't it, was it? Greatly increases fire resistance. There's no way that that was just it. Like, really? Was that everything? Uh, I guess all that's left is the rabbit. The game really just wants to force me into this, uh, into this final fight already. I don't know if I'm ready, though. Well, let's just see how good our upgrades can be. Hopefully, we can make something really good with this. Uh, okay. So, Ethereal Axe. We can... We don't know what either of these is. So which stone we don't care about. That's good, but... Tyrant Soul Stone. The thing I hate is that these are actual good things that I could use. But it's just like, I desperately need more attack. Okay. Crimson Horn is actually pretty good for attack. Barely hurts agility. What about the Keishin Horn? If this is this good, I'm curious, let's try this. I don't like that I'm that I don't have confirmation before doing this, but we're gonna try this out. Okay, that's plus eleven attack, minus ten agility, plus six defense. Not too bad in terms of agility loss. So that was plus eleven. Uh, a warrior's code of conduct. Like I'm, I'm. I want to try using this, but the thing is, is, part of me is also thinking it might be better to have a second, you know, weapon to go off of with this. Like, maybe the drill. So, that's why I'm holding off. Nonix Lifestone, I don't... doesn't sound like something that would give you a lot of attack. Tyrant Soul Stone might. We could go with the Eye of Truth, which would... I hate how much it's giving me in terms of durability, because that's something I absolutely don't need. I'd almost rather just use something like that, and not have the huge penalty to agility. Get a tiny bit of defense, get some attack. Mm. Like, it was really nice having that high agility. Oh, is there anywhere that I could get more cat paw figurines? I don't know. I can check. Let me just check the uh, bestiary really quick. So, witch stone, doji soul stone. Did we ever get a, a doji soul stone? Also, look at these guys' levels. Holy cow. So many of these guys don't drop anything. He drops eyes of truth. Yes, so many of these guys drop just like really low tier kind of items. Like, one of the few ones that was dropping, like, post-game stuff was the Black Dragon Fang. So maybe there's a couple of enemies in, like, the last area there that would drop something good. Doji Soul Stone sounds like it would be pretty good to have. He just drops a Witch Stone, which, uh... That was... It might be good. Okay, let's just... Let's just go for it. Actually... So let's see, our next best at weapon is our drill. Or our claws. Either one is... Do we 
keep this? What what skill does it have on it? It has like weapon break. And the rabbit doesn't really have a weapon. But I kind of Or was it these that I had with the weapon break on it? It was them, wasn't it? But this has the drill skill. Uh, but I kind of do need something a bit better at this point for it to be good against the rabbit. It's okay, we can get another one. I can do the fishing if we need it. Okay, so let's go to create. Now the question is, do I want to go and get some attack on this? I might want to do that. We've never used uh, the witch. Let's try the upgrades again. Okay, ethereal axe. We're gonna have to experiment a little bit here. So I don't want to use witch stone. Do I dare consider the onyx life stone? I am truth. Will give me the attack I need. I'm gonna take a chance on this. Hopefully, I don't regret whatever upgrade I get from this. Hopefully it isn't a huge penalty agi to agility. Okay, that is what I like to see. Plus 15, plus 15, plus 10. Fantastic. So, that's good. That gives us some... That negates some of the agility penalties. So, we're going to save this for the drill. I don't care too much for that one. Can I afford an Eye of Truth, is the thing. Tyrant Soulstone. You know what? Let's... for science. Wait, what did I do? Uh, confirm. Let's see what this does. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Plus 13, plus 10, plus 12. Okay, that's acceptable. We get some boost to attack, boost to defense, and I'm fine with that. Okay, what's left? So all that's left, I think, is to create a uh, is to create a new drill. Yep. So let's make it. And there, there's nothing I can actually do since I already broke it down. I can't really improve the tech on it. So I guess we'll just go with what we have here. It, it's fine. Okay. What is that final ethereal rotor? Okay, that's so that's acceptable. That's better than it what it was. What is it called now? The Acme of all Drillhood. Okay, so I kind of want to have another, uh, you know, good good item on this. Fortunately, we're kind of all out of those. So, actually, what is the defense on my items? Let me just check that. So if I check equipment. Uh, defense. Well, it's not showing there because I haven't got everything equipped. So check with that. Check with this. Defense is way lower than the axe, but it's still better than the fists. Okay. So do I want to equip it again with the drill skill? Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a bit of fishing before I decide on the final skills uh, to give my drill. Then next episode, we're taking on the rabbit, so... Yeah, sorry, this episode was probably gonna be a lot more of the boss than I thought it was, but I ended up, you know, figuring out how to just deal with him. Okay, so... Next time, it's rabbit. Oh, good. So, thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out. We did it!